Hey fam, how you doing? It's me, Jernigan Six, your middle-aged natural beauty. I know I don't look so beautiful right now, but I wanted to share something with you guys. I very seldom share um, my interlocking process. I think I did maybe early on when I was growing these set of locks when I first started them. But my hair has grown quite a bit since then. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd share and yeah, too. Um, my uh my camera sucks you guys i've been having the same camera for years way back in the day when i was making my first videos i um i was using the same camera so it's time for a new camera um, i'm reaching out to you guys anybody have any ideas of a good camera that i can use um for the purpose of uploading videos to youtube please give me a um you know just leave a message underneath this video and let me know um, cause I am on the market for a new video. I mean, I'm sorry, new, um, uh, recorder. Uh, new camera. Okay, so, just to give you guys a little background of today. Um, I washed my hair today, and I did a tea rinse. You guys have seen my videos where I show you how I make my tea rinse. I used a lot of rosemary today, and I only had a little bit of sage left, so I used what I had left. And I usually let it um, um, sit in the refrigerator for a couple of days, but I didn't do that today. I used the tea while it was warm, and it felt so good on my head. And um, then after that, I gave myself a hot oil treatment. So I washed my hair with um, Dr. Bonner's, which you guys have seen that video, so I don't need to go with the products I use. Anyway, I just wanted to show you how I interlock my hair. I've only done the front so far. And I'm almost done. This is an O-Locker. I bought this from a YouTuber here on um, in the lock community here on YouTube. And he has three different sizes. Oops. Well, he has a medium, a large, and the small. And this is the one I use. This is the small. I use this one on my hair. Um, I love this tool. It makes my interlocking process really, really um, smooth. Okay, so you guys saw that I threaded my hair through there and I kind of locked it up in the top portion. And what I do, okay, so I look for the Y in my hair so that I don't go through it and make a hole. So I go and I use, I've been using a two point rotation. But this time I'm going to use a four point rotation. So, and what I do is you see that I bring my hair all the way up. Oh, I'm using a two point rotation. I bring my hair all the way up to where that last rotation stops so that I can avoid having any type of holes in my hair. Okay. And that is one of the reasons that. My locks are dense. It's because I don't leave space between each interlock. So, yeah. The goal is to have these locks laid to the side. Rather than going back. I usually have a part down the middle. But... I don't want to part down the middle this time, so um, I can do one more, maybe two more. Yeah, that's one. Two. There we go. So. There we go. So I'm going to do this one right here. I've been sitting here all day watching, um, well not all day, but I've been sitting here watching YouTube videos. I like to watch YouTube videos while I do my hair. And I like to watch a lot of videos while I do my hair. I've watched people do big chops and start over. I've watched people uh, start sister locks. I've seen 
Um, yeah, people tell why they love locks, why and what their pros and cons of locks are. You know, um, I think the general consensus is that people don't like the ugly stage and the length of time it takes for your hair to lock. But honestly, for me, it seems like it's been, it was just yesterday that I started my locks. And I'm really very, very, very happy with them. So. Yeah, I think that's it for this one. I could go, let me see. Yeah, I got one more in there. Um, yep, that's it. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys how I interlock my hair. This has been taking me ooh, a while. I've been doing my hair. Actually, I had to cancel a date because I was doing my hair. I know. I must not have really wanted to go, right? I did, but I want to look nice. And I didn't want my hair to look crazy. So we rescheduled for tomorrow. Going to have us a nice dinner tomorrow. So, yeah. Anyway, you guys, if you have any questions about my interlocking method or the tools, um, I should have been nice and got the tools ready before I did this video. But I didn't. I'm sorry. I apologize. But it's the O-Locker. Um, if you're interested in this tool, just um, type in O-Locker in um, the uh, in your YouTube search engine, and you'll go right to the the creator's um, website. I mean, um, YouTube channel, and you'll see you'll see how it was. Excuse me, not how it was created, but how he uses it and how he demonstrates it on one of his clients' hair. But anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Have a good evening, and I'm going to finish my hair.